Nowadays, gasket mount keyboards are becoming more accessible without the need of group buys, and that is awesome. From the JMMK Pro, to the Keychron Q1, to the Mojo 68, with the Q1 being the best iteration amongst all those readily available mechs. And today, we're reviewing the newest addition to readily available gasket mount keyboards, the Akko Mod 003. This is a full-sized gasket mount keyboard kit, which is probably the first of its kind. So this is the Mod 003. It's a full-size keyboard with 98 keys and has a fully anodized aluminum housing that's available in 5 colors and looks pretty sweet in this ocean blue here. And the quality is just great. It's a hefty and sturdy premium kit. On the back side, we have our USB-C port in the middle with a side profile that looks real clean with those beveled edges as well as giving us a very comfortable typing angle. And on the bottom, we have some anti-slip feet as well as a very large weight that says Akko Mod 003 Gasket. Moving back to the top, we have our three LED indicators on the right, north-facing hot swap sockets, and plate mount stabilizers that are fitted extremely well with no wobble. And if we do a quick press test on the plate, you can see how much it moves and that is a good sign on a gasket mount board. No assembly of this case is required and it also comes with stabilizers. So all you have to do is put in some switches, slap on some keycaps, and you're good to go. Although this keyboard doesn't need assembling, you can still take it apart, but it does need a hex tool which isn't provided in the box. I learned that hex screws are preferred because they don't strip like Phillips screws and if you want to open this board up, you'll need this specific size for your hex tool. Once we lift off the top housing, you can now see all the gasket foam in between the plates and the housing. They're kind of similar to KBD Fan's gasket foam, but I would have liked to see longer strips rather than multiple small ones because the placement of them is kind of all over the place. And underneath the plates and PCB is some acoustic foam that you typically find in packaging and it does the job of reducing the hollowness of the board just fine. And underneath the foam are six screws to hold the metal weight in place. You can also reveal the EVA foam in between the PCB and the plates. And this foam here is very thick and dense to fill up all that empty space for even more sound absorption and hollowness correction. So no modifications are required at all and that's exactly how keyboards at this price should be like. Now I do find it odd that Akko decided to use north facing hot swap sockets versus south facing hot swap sockets like everybody else. This feature is generally great for people who are using OEM profile keycaps as well as shine through keycaps, but it does get a little awkward for people who are planning to use GMK or any kind of cherry profile keycaps because they technically do not work due to keycap interference. It's not a deal breaker per se, but having north facing switches on this keyboard may deter people from getting it, especially if their preference is using cherry profile keycaps. The funny thing about this keyboard is that it's also being advertised with Drops GMK Blue Samurai keycaps, which are in fact cherry profile keycaps. So technically, these two products do not work with each other. But there is a workaround to this. If you use switches whose stems don't go all the way down, for example some Holy Pandas or Glorious Pandas, you may be able to get away with using cherry profile keycaps on this keyboard. But if you want this keyboard to sound as optimal as possible, you'll probably have to go with some OEM profile keycaps instead. So this keyboard is available in two options. You've got the Mod 003, which is the gasket mount version, and you also have the Mod 004, which is the tray mount version. And the only difference between the two is the mounting styles, and that the Mod 004 has a white backplate, while the Mod 003 has a backplate the same color as the case itself, and you guys can probably tell which one has better backlighting properties if that's something you care about. Now that you've seen the entire keyboard, let's get into the sound test. So the switches that we're going to be using for the sound test are the Glorious Lynx switches. And these are actually the unlubed versions, but I have lubed them with Crytox 205 Grade Zero. And the keycaps that we're using are Keychron's OEM Profile Double Shot keycaps along with the GMK Blue Samurai keycaps for the numpad.
So the sound of the Mod 003 is kind of interesting, because it's not as muted as the Keychron Q1, not as stocky as the Mojo 68, and not as stiff as the GMMK Pro, but as we all know, the GMMK Pro is not a very good representation of a gas game out keyboard, but anyways, let me know if this keyboard is satisfying to listen to, and whether or not you would choose the sound of the Mod 003 over all the other options that are available. Unfortunately, the Mod 003 is not QMK compatible like the rest of the readily available gas game out keyboards, but it does come with its own custom software from Akko. So the software here is pretty straightforward. You can remap most of the keys on the keyboard, rearrange multiple function layers, customize your own lighting profiles with multiple effects to choose from, and you can create macros too. It might not be as customizable as QMK, but it gets the job done. As for pricing, the Mod 003 is $170, which is the same price as the GMMK Pro, while the tray mount version, the 004, is $150, which at the time of recording is the same price as the Keychron Q1. And regardless of the version that you're going to choose, this is a great deal, because this is a full-size keyboard with 96 keys. You're getting a fully anodized aluminum housing with gasket mounts, RGB lighting, hot swappable sockets, and a numpad. It's almost everything you need. You will not be able to find a keyboard of this size with this kind of quality anywhere else for cheaper. But if there is, let me know in the comments down below. So overall this keyboard is pretty awesome. The build quality is 10 out of 10, the sound quality is pretty decent, customizability is all there, you get a numpad, and the pricing is very enticing. This keyboard is perfect for the home and for the office because of the full size layout and its numpad. So now it's going to be super satisfying to do data entry and gaming with the same keyboard. And the best part of all is the size. Although this is a full size keyboard, it's technically only one column longer than a 10 keyless. So you're getting all the benefits of a full size keyboard, but you're also saving desk space too. And that sounds pretty good to me. But that's been it. Let me know what you guys think about the Mod 003. Would you guys get it over all the other options available in the market? Links to buy it is going to be in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.